on the 20 mile test, my legs were just saying, hello, I'm down here. Hello, look out for me a little. Busy times in the studio. I haven't forgotten about this guy. The Skechers Horizon Vanish 2. There it is. Oh man. So I think I ran in this shoe about four or five days ago. Do forgive me. Thank you for your patience. There's just so many shoes to be testing. And yes, in case you missed the live stream, there, oh man, more shoes just arrived today. Three boxes. So, you know, it's exciting. It's, uh, I think we're just very fortunate to be running in the 2020s. Can I say, is, it, is that what this decade is called, the 2020s? Uh, because just imagine 10 years ago, 15 years ago, no Hoka, no Skechers really, no, um, oh man, you're putting me on the spot now. Anyway, there's new companies, even like the North Face to a certain extent, as far as like running shoe companies, bottom line, let me, help me out down in the comments. What other companies right now that you purchase and use their shoes, run in their shoes that weren't around, let's say before about 2010. Ultra, there you go, there's another one. So I think we're very fortunate to have so many options at this point in time, including with Skechers, which they're making their way. A lot of people don't like Skechers, uh, but I think they are pushing the envelope and trying new things, be, trying to innovate in the running shoe space in 2021. All right, let's dive in. Here we go. I took it out for 20 miles. Oh, Nelly, at 645 a mile. 20 miles at 640. It was a doozy out there. That is for sure. Let's do the twist test. A neutral road running shoe, 100%. It's dancing like you've never seen a dance before, everybody. It is, actually, I'm getting dirt all over myself here. Um, so 20 miles, 645 a mile. We got a four millimeter drop from heel to toe, 29 in the heel, 25 in the four foot. There you go for the stack height, medium, basically a medium stack height for the weight, women's size eight, men's size nine. Let's put it on the scale. I think we're in the fives, which is amazing. 5.5 in my size. We'll come back to the weight here in a second, going with 9.5 out of 10. Just an amazing weight for this guy. And that mono mesh upper, uh, same as the, or similar, I should say, to the Speed Elite Hyper, if you're familiar with that shoe from Skechers. Lockdown, eh, not amazing. What I've learned with mono mesh is that, again, I talked about this for the, uh, oh, there it is, the Reebok Float Ride Run Fast Pro, or sorry, Run Fast 3.0. It kind of, these uppers kind of feel similar, actually. If you didn't see this uh, first impression vlog from about two or three days ago, up right hand corner for this shoe, the Reebok, and the similar feel. And I'm going to say that this Horizon Vanish 2 is not creating the best lockdown. It's a very nimble, lightweight, flexible. There's the heel counter, okay? It's like I could just do that to it. So what they're going for is lightweight. Uh, almost like a slipper feel underfoot. Very, very nimble and malleable. That's another word for it. And overall score for the upper, not amazing. Six out of 10. There you go. Ultra Flight Foam through that midsole. Ride in energy. 6.5 for the energy return. Again, it's not. it doesn't have a lot of bounce to it, but what it lacks in bounce, it makes up for in the fact that it's 5.5 ounces. I mean, that's an ounce lighter than the next percent, okay? Which obviously these are, you know, very, very different shoes, very, very different uh, price categories. But if you think this guy in my size, I think is about 6.6 .6, and this is at 5.5. .5, so a whole ounce lighter. It's just fascinating the angle and approach that Skechers has chosen to take with their running shoe direction. Overall score though for the midsole is 7.5 out of 10 because it is so lightweight. We got Goodyear rubber on the outsole with these pods here and I love it. Actually, I feel underfoot through the foot strike, these pods create a little bit of a, a trampoline effect. Not, you know, nothing like the Nova Blast at all, but just like it's it's if you've never worn sketches, I'll just try and put it on the screen for you. These pods are separated with some um, space between them. And 
when you compress all your weight onto the pods. I don't know what's happening underneath because I can't film it, but I'd imagine they're just kind of uh, stretching underneath your, your foot strike just a little bit to create again. It just feels like a little bit of bounce underneath, which is quite, quite nice. So it's getting a great score for the outsole because again, it's not plastered with too much rubber on the bottom there. Seven out of 10 for the fit. Nothing crazy to write home about. Um, thankfully, I'm not slipping through the heel. That's good. Even though this heel uh, counter is so nimble, I'm not slipping. That was a, I was pretty concerned about that lacing up the shoe. Comfort score, oh boy, 5.5 out of 10. Not so good. It's just not, you know, you're not buying the shoe for comfort at all. All positive has to be the weight of the shoe, 100%. My drawback is, oh man, so I took it out for 20 miles. It's not a long run shoe. I basically knew that ahead of time, but I wanted to test just to make sure for all of you. And you know, it just is feeling, I think Skechers, that this shoe, everyone, it's just so lightweight, but if they could somehow make it a little softer, and so that's my drawback is that the durometer is just a little firm actually. And I think it'd be a little more, a little more bounce to that midsole would make it kind of special actually, especially if you can keep that weight in the fives at my size. It's just, unbel it's an unbelievable weight. So there you go. That's my drawback. Durability, three to 400, maybe. I'm gonna lean more in the direction of 300 miles for this guy. Oh man, if it's under 300, Forgive me for the score, but we're going six out of 10. Anyway, let me know if you do take this shoe, let's say past like the 350 mark for the Skechers Horizon Vantage 2. How will I use this shoe? Who is it best for? If Who is it best for? If you want to save some money, get you the price point in a second, I'll use this shoe for tempo days or commuting to the track, do some eh, 600 meter repeats, 800 meter repeats, and then jog back home. Okay, Th that'd be a solid choice just given how lightweight it is. Um, I wanted it to be, because it's so lightweight, I wanted it to be a long run shoe so bad, but it just does it by about miles 16, 17 on the 20 mile test. My legs were just saying, hello, I'm down here, hello. Look out for me a little bit here. So anyway, definitely not a long run shoe, but price point, $99, hello. That's awesome, 99 is amazing. So great score for the price. Any brand new shoe that's under $100 is doing awesome. So nine out of 10 for that price point. Other shoes to buy on your screen. Who? yeah, the one that's jumping out at me actually is the Fast Twitch 9. All right, shoe quick specs one more time. Soak it in and that early score i'm undecided we'll see i'm a little hesitant to commit to a 50 mile review in this shoe if i do get it to 50 miles you'll hear about it but it might it could take a while frankly it could take months be just because there are so many other shoes to be testing um in that lean midsole i just you know i gotta watch my legs at the end of the day as well so early score 7.1 out of 10 and i don't foresee going to 50 miles but you never know stay tuned in case something changes all right there you go sketchers horizon vanish 2 i'm excited it's light it's fun it's tempo day six to eight miles four to seven miles just go let it rip a little bit on a tempo day and then get back home and you know let your legs rest it's just not it's not uh it's not much beyond that that is for sure question of the day what is your greatest running memory i've asked this before but it's been a little while and listen we can never pick one great running memory so if you want to share a couple feel free to do so down in the comments all right greatest running memory can't wait wait to read all about them thanks for tuning in once again Lots of shoes, everybody. Oh, if, if I'm doing too many shoes, you just let me know down in the comments. But you know, I think it, I think these vlogs help. That's another good question. Do these vlogs help inform you as you're trying to make running shoe purchasing decisions? Just because there are so many, like we talked about at the beginning. All right, we'll toss it to the Horizon Vanish vlog from a year ago. Horizon Vanish vlog from one year ago right there right there i don't even recall if it was a full review i have no idea but anyway i think i have a vlog from about a year ago 
for the Horizon Vantage One. All right, everyone, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.